Hey what's going on guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can add a video inside a text in your Elementor website. Maybe you can find a lot of similar videos on this topic, but all of these methods are only applicable for black and white color background. So here today I'm gonna show you how we can achieve this effect with any kind of background you want. So without further ado, let's see how can we achieve that. So here in this page, I want to add out this text effect at the top of this paragraph here. So normally to add a heading, we use this heading widget. But now here we do not use our this heading widget to create our this text effect. Instead, we need to create our this text from a website called photopia.com. And you can see it's almost look like an online version of Photoshop. So from here, I want to create a new project. So let's go to file and click on new and let's define the size of our project. Make it to 2000 by 1000 pixel and click on create. And from here to create our this text, first of all, let's click on this type tool icon and click on here and let's write our text. Hello. Okay, but we need to increase this font size. So let's select all of this and at the top from here, Let's make it to 500 pixel and you can see it goes outside of our this area. So I want to move this. So let's click on this move tool and drag this at this place. So here I have used a really big 500 pixel font size because I want to keep this really very sharp. And when I download this text as an image, I don't want to make this blurry. So let's again go to this text option and from this drop down, you can select a lot of font from here or you can search for any specific font. Okay, but here I want to use a custom font. So for this, let's click on this load font button. And from my computer, I want to upload this TTF file. So let's upload this and click on OK. Now again, go to here. And here now I want to search for our this newly uploaded font. This one. Now I want to download this as an image. But before that, I want to remove this background white color. So from here, let's click on this eyeball. And our background has been removed. And I also want to crop this text. So let's go to image and click on the stream option and click on OK. OK, now it's successfully cropped. So let's go to again file and under export as export that as a png image and click on save so our image is ready now let's go back to our this page and here instead of adding a text i want to use an video widget so let's drag this above here and first of all let's upload a video so here instead of youtube i want to upload and self-hosted video let's also upload a video from our dashboard here go to this media and from our computer I want to upload this video. Go back again to our this page and from here let's upload our this video. Let's select this one and click on insert media. Okay this is our video. So here first of all I don't want to show this control. So let's turn off this from here and let's turn on this auto play. I also want to play this video in a loop so also turn on this loop option and here also don't forget to mute this video otherwise this autoplay option will not working for all of the browsers. Okay then I want to add our text over this video so for this let's go to this advanced tab and go to this mask option let's turn on this and from the shape let's make it to custom. And from here, we can upload a custom PNG or SVG image. So let's click on here and upload our newly created image. Click on insert media. Okay, now we can see this effect. Our video has been wrapped inside our this text, which looks really very cool. So now I want to reduce the width of this text. So go to this positioning and make the width to custom. And let's make the unit in percentage. 
I want to make it to 75% and also want to align this to center. So for this, we need to go to this parent column settings. And from here, let's make this horizontal align to the center. Okay. But here at the bottom for this content, we also need to make it center properly. So for this paragraph, let's go to the style option and make the alignment to center. Also for this button, let's make its alignment to the center. Okay, now that looks good. But here we also need to reduce the height of this text. For this, go to this video widget settings and go to this custom CSS option. And by the way, to use this custom CSS option, you have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you already don't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. So here now let's paste our code snippet. And here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet. I will also give that code snippets link on my description. So here if you look at the first line of this code, from here you can control the height of this text. So instead of 50%, let's make it to 30 or 27 perfect and lastly we also need to add some space between this text so go to this paragraph settings and go to advanced so from here let's make some top margin 60 pixel so lastly let's click on this update button to save our work and if we look at this from our preview that looks really very really cool so that's how you can create this amazing video mask effect in Elementor. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.